This is Owen K, the VHS guy, and it's time for a VHS and DVD update for July 22nd, 2017. Let's not waste any time, so let's get started. This is a phone rental from Blockbuster purchased on September 28th, 2003. Put on the 21st week of 2003. I got all these tapes at my local thrift store today. This is another former rental from Blockbuster. Purchased on September 11th, 2000. Which is exactly a year before the 9-11 attacks. Put on the 15th week of 2000. Full more of a Midtown video, and put it on the 51st week of 2000. This is a former run-on from Hollywood video, and this is a touchstone tape. And it came with a receipt. It was purchased at Hollywood Video in Munster. Finally, we have all the Star Trek films released on VHS. And this is the last Star Trek film to be released on VHS. And this was a film rental from Blockbuster purchased on October 6, 2003. I put on the 18th week of 2003. And the next one's a Good Times tape from 1989. And this has an all-star cast including the late Dudley Moore and the late John Ritter. And this is a Columbia Pictures film. It stores the recording tab, and we all know what it has at the end. So it is a good times tape. And this is another former rental from Hollywood Video. And this is a Warner Home Video Boring Show tape. I know Brandon Movie Guy has this tape as well. And this is a former one from Smith's Video Center. Which I've gotten a few tapes from their <clears throat> that former one from that store last time. Print is blocked, unfortunately. And I believe it was purchased from the same location in New Mexico, if, if I'm not mistaken. This is a DreamWorks tape and another full model from Blockbuster, purchased on May 7th, 2001. As you do, as you all know, I do like to collect former rentals, of course. This is a Columbia TriStar tape from 1992. And this is another former rental from Blockbuster, purchased on June 17th, 1996. I know Jordan Rios uploaded the opening to this tape, and it still has the Carl Lorbar home video logo at the beginning, so it's one of the last tapes to use that. And print date is May 26, 1987. Finally, we got another Lorbar home video tape for the collection. And finally, we got another New World videotape for the collection as well. And this is a former rental from an unknown video store. I have two other New World tapes as well. The other two are Night Patrol and 18 again.
This is a Screen Gems film co-produced by Lakeshore Entertainment. Purchased on August 5th, 2002. Put on the 16th week of 2000... No, 18th week of 2002. I've gotten quite a lot of Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment tapes quite recently. And this is another former rental from Blockbuster. And purchased on September 28th, 1999. And put on the 50th week of 1998. This is a polygram videotape. Purchased on June 28th, 1999. Another former rental from Blockbuster, of course. I know the previous guy VHS openings has this tape as well. And he did the opening of this tape. Purchased on April 5th, 2001. And put on the 18th week of 2000. If it's a form of tape from Blockbuster, I'd say when the tape was purchased. Purchased on October 23rd, 2000. Gotten quite a lot of former Arnold Chase and Blockbuster lately. And put on the 37th week of 1999. This is a rare tape right here from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And I know you're gonna, you're all going to like this. This is a Canadian copy. It's rated PG in Canada. So that's cool. And the print date is January 19th, 2004. Got a Canadian Lionsgate tape for the collection, and that's awesome. This is another Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment tape I got. This does not have a purchase sticker because it was ripped off. Put on the 21st week of 2001. This is an MGM tape. Of course, this stars Anthony Hopkins. And this is a sequel to The Silence of the Lambs. Which he also co-starred in that film as well. Put on June 22nd, 2001. And this is a former order from Howie's Choice Video Incorporated. I do have the first Under Seeds film as well. Of course, a Warner Home Video Cheese Show tape from 1996. And this was a former rental from Blockbuster, as you can tell by the sticker. By the markings on the stick from the sticker. And I put it on January 10th, 1996. So we'll obviously still have the Cheese Shield. These next two are Warner Home Video Boring Show tapes once again, just like White Oleander. This one's Murder by Numbers, purchased on April 28th, 2003. And this one is Insomnia with Al Pacino, and the late Robin Williams and Hilary Swank, purchased on the same date as Murder by Numbers. Yeah, it was the same day. I was just double checking to make sure. And here's the last tape in this update. And this is actually the last film that the late Spencer Tracy was in. Put on the second week of 1997. And those are the VHS I got. And now we got into the two DVDs, which are both. Super Mario Brothers Super Show DVDs.
from the mid-2000s. Released by N-Circle Entertainment. I do hate Sit the Science Kid, obviously. This is the inside artwork. And that is going to be for my VHS and DVD update, and I'll see you later.